towards them or the LeBron Twitter nation is laughing at him. Which one do you think, Mario, is best describes the response of the public? Well, it's not the LeBron Twitter nation is laughing at him. Okay. Because, you know, let's face it, you guys. Mm -hmm. The only people who are really mad at LeBron mm -hmm. live in Cleveland. I Everybody else is like, what did you expect, Cleveland? <laughs> okay. You're Cleveland. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. Uh, okay. What do you I mean, I like, I got friends in Cleveland. Right. Hey. But it's Cleveland. Right. What do you want? Okay. Okay. If you, right. You're Cleveland. What right. the hell do you want? This is this is you know. No. Do we have to take it any further? <laughs> we love you, Cleveland. Right. But you're Cleveland. Okay. Next. Okay. All, All right. right. So What's everybody leaves Cleveland. All right. It's like here in L.A. We have Compton. Right. Everybody leaves Compton if they can. Only time you don't is if you're locked in or you're out of gas. What about what? <laughs> well, Watts. You don't even know Watts anymore. <laughs> Watts is no longer famous. It's now Compton. Let's go, Bell Gardens. All right, Bell, go all right. So it's not that. So okay, what is? It? I, now LeBron's really mad at the media and the city of Cleveland. He's not mad at the city of Cleveland. He's mad at some of the a hole fans. Okay, but he's not. This is his people. That's his area. You're going to be so mad at them, even when you're when you're from there. You like you know who likes you, and who doesn't. Right. So you know he's got as big a contingency who care for him too. Right. So no, I think uh, I think everyone's energized about watching him. I wouldn't say it that way. Right. I think everyone's energized about watching LeBron this season, and a bunch of people are energized because they want to see them fail. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. But That's some people want to see That's him good. win. All right. Okay. But it, isn't it the thing to watch? I mean, Van Gundy, is. everybody. Right. And, <laughs> and and you know what? You make a good point because of course this is to drum up the following, like the Yankees and Boston Red Sox. Oh yeah. Wherever they play, they get the most out of it, and and I agree with you. That's it. Yeah. But we're gonna get a surprise today because because what the Twitter nation is laughing at him. They that's are. A, that's the official response. Okay. Who's oh, that? Who said that? <laughs> oh no. This came from I, the official Twitter. Well, I have to give you what the, the tweet, the, the, the Twitter, but I I got to give love to this show because the show did it. So I'm gonna have to just turn around and reference them. I shouldn't because I don't want them. TMZ, no. ESPN, they had, uh, they had a talk point, show. They, point of view, yeah. They actually, uh, you know, the reporters on the show, uh, the extra special punani. They, they all do their ESPN. own Twitter, <laughs> and they were shocked at how many people were laughing at when he put that Twitter in. They all this. All oh responses. no, the tweet, the tweet. Okay, the Twitter. Right, but that's, they're gonna laugh at it because like, for the reasons right, I said. Right. You come off sounding like a school kid, and everybody's gonna go like, nah, 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 nah. Right. You know, after a while, what do you do? Nah, 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 nah. Okay, I mean, come on, we're like six years old. All right, LeBron. What is this? You got another one that you can put a mental note on. I'm just saying, we're six, we're acting six years old. Put a mental note on this brother right here. I hate you 20 times double. I'll tell you what part. He lives in View Park. LeBron knows I'm his fan. I'm the one who said, leave Cleveland. Okay. If he was here in L.A., I would have said, leave L.A. too. I'm okay. talking about go get what you can get. The athlete, you owe it to yourself right. to take care of your family right. and your people. These people are not going to take care of you. Take care of yourself. Okay. And he's already proven he's a, he don't owe anybody anything. Got you. To me, well, nothing. Okay, a couple of other, uh, other basketball notes just so you know this. Tracy McGrady signs a one-year contract with the De Detroit Pistons. Now, does that tell you how much faith they have in him? One year, Mario. Tracy McGrady. Used I think to be the one year's going around. They yeah, gave Shaq a one year. No, he got a two year. Tra Shaq got two years. Shaq, he got, okay. He's got two years. Oh, somebody got a, okay. Well, Tracy, think about this is the Tracy McGrady who led the league in scoring, I think, two or three times. No, I'm, I'm not exact on that. That's true. And he is now a one year. Well, How, with the ER. I think time moves on. Where's mm -hmm. Allen Iverson? Well, see, oh, okay, I got you. You're right. You're right. I mean, Tracy. Tracy how, but how many years is he now, Vic? Oh, uh, man. Twelve. You know, I think Tra he's close. He's about thirty. Would you say close to thirty? Twelve. How many years in the league? I can't remember. I want. It's over ten, right? Yeah, I know he's at least ten because he I came in. 10 or he came in early. You know, he was okay. Early, so. Well, you know, I like him, but yeah, you know, he, I do too. You know what's cool. so bad? I actually, the Houston team. I feel bad for them. I really feel bad for Yao Ming. Yeah. I sure hope he still has a career with it's, that foot. It's hard, man. When you're that tall and you have a foot he problem, can't take, he can't, can't take the stress. It's too much, man. It's too much, too much weight on those and bones and stuff. And Tracy, you know, Tracy's not a muscular cat, so you can imagine what he's going through and what injuries can do to actually plummet your athletic <laughs> ability. And now he has to find a way to rebound, and it's very difficult when you got one year. They see something already that says one year. 
Because he only averaged a few points with the New York Knicks last year. So why didn't they hold on to him? I didn't even know he was on the New York Knicks last year. Last year. That's right. So he, did he play? Yeah, he played. He averaged somewhere. Now, I'm please, excuse me. I didn't bring up the, the, the data on this because it's already passe. But I know he was barely double figures, maybe 10 points a game, somewhere along there. But he didn't play full-time uh, starter minutes. So, you know, just let you know where he's at right now. Well, you know, they all get old. Okay. And for just another basketball note, you know, Shaq is doing Shaq versus the world. So, I guess his last, uh, I guess you could say, episode was with the uh, Shane Mosley boxing match. Dude, he's been on the news twice in the last 24 hours. (laughs) One with boxing Shane Mosley. (laughs) Then they have him... Uh, coming, getting you know, getting ready to go exercise in his in his workout attire. What kind of attire? Is you, it I, you know, you would just say describe it. It's he looked like he had on a thong or something. <laughs> he had on some tight red <laughs> bikini underwear. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find it while you talk. Well, you keep you keep looking at that because uh, we we can bring that up as we progress on. I'm a, I'm gonna go on into uh, the NFL because you know when the NFL comes in. If you can't create the story, we can't live with just the story of Darrell Revis, which we'll get to later, because that's really that's really it. It's either Brett Favre, which now everybody's used to. So you can't milk it the same way now. We're all used to it. So, you you know, all this speculation about him is just going to be food for fodder. But whatever the case may be, we need to have teams you love to hate, but they got to be competitive teams you love to hate. In other words, don't be a team that everybody hates, like the Yankees. When the Yankees, before they won their championships recently, you know, you hated them because they recently won championships uh, within maybe 12, 15 years ago, so it, it spilled over. You still got to hate them. Well, if they were just totally in the, you know, like the Clippers are in basketball, no matter how much you hate them, you say, well, we don't, can't afford to because they're never winning. Well, what, what teams do we love to hate if we had to hate teams? So what I did is I put some uh, choices up here, Mario, for people to see. If you had to choose a team to hate that would give you the best energy for the upcoming football year, here's the choices I put there. And if you can think of better choices, let me know. Uh, I said, uh, which are the best teams we love to hate? You're going to select three of them. But here's the list. Pittsburgh Steelers, Oakland Raiders, Dallas Cowboys, Philadelphia Eagles, New England, pa- New England Patriots. Now, I could have thought of other teams, but you know you have to have some semblance of winning right. or something. Now, right. I'm going to tell you the reason why I put these teams this way. Pittsburgh Steelers, because they have won the most Super Bowls. Uh, Oakland Raiders, because you just hate the Raiders and you can't wait for them to start winning so you can hate them again. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, because everybody has a position of why you keep making them America's team when every time I hear people talk, they said they're, they're not my America's team. Philadelphia Eagles for their fans because they are just those kind of fans that's hard to please. Even though it's only in Philadelphia, would we do we hate the Eagles more or the fans more in Philadelphia? And New England it's Patriots the fans definitely. And the New England Patriots because they're the team right now that still takes precedence on hating more than Pittsburgh, even though they haven't won a Super Bowl lately. So, is there a team up here that belongs? If not, Mario, which three teams ranked in order? Would you pick better to love to hate because they win? All right. The top three teams to hate. Number one Mm -hmm. on the list, the number one team Mm -hmm. of all time will always be the Dallas Cowboys. (laughs) I knew it. The so-called America's team. Over the Oakland Raiders. Gag (laughs) me. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to barf. All right. Okay, now. So Dallas Cowboys is the number one team. Right. Number two team to hate. New England Patriots. And mainly because they just won too, too much for too long. There's not okay. a whole good reason okay, to really so, hate them. Okay, so, so they just won too much. He's got sick of them. Well, Pittsburgh Steelers is coming up. I can't wait to hear what but you're saying. But they ain't won like that in a good while. They won. They I just, mean, they did, but they ain't enough trouble. No. <laughs> Pittsburgh is not in my top three teams to hate because okay. I think t- Pittsburgh.